how do we connect the dots between ads, website, and in dealership? And how do we measure that? I think it's such an interesting topic for automotive. And I'm preaching to the choir. <laughs> I think many, many dealerships and the people who are at the dealership involved with digital marketing feel like they have a not so much a messy kind of landscape, digital landscape, but the industry has sort of tacked on widgets, third parties, and a lot of different funnels that are frankly, from a technical standpoint, hard to measure. And I don't want to make For it sure. an attribution conversation because there's still ways that dealerships can consolidate and get all of their data and their information in one place. And so I think if you have an issue with identifying who the quote unquote source of truth is from a data perspective, that's the first problem you want to solve. Once you're, you feel confident and that the source of data is in the right place, then we get into defining what those KPIs are for the business. Mm -hmm. I think the automotive industry as a whole could do a lot better job of identifying what those hard conversions are for each business or uh, vertical or service line, right? You want to know what your variable operation leads look like from a funnel perspective. You want to know where your fixed op ops leads are being generated. You want to differentiate when you're getting a chat lead versus a website lead exactly. and, and, and backing into that all the way full funnel. So from the first impression to the engagement, to the lead, and I think if, if dealerships can really focus on solving for that in the immediate term, they're going to be very successful. And then it makes everything from a measurement side just that much easier. 